So now we are going to work on our placket. is the piece which goes in at the back so that it opens up for your skirt to sit on it so that you've got enough room for the child's body or your, anybody's body to go inside so it's going to open on here and on your pattern it will tell you the size of the placket you will need for your ch age child's dress okay so you should have a long piece of fabric like this Okay, just like that and that'll be your placket and we're going to pop that on to here so I'm just going to go and check the size of my two-year-old okay so for my for the two-year-old it is a three and a half or nine centimeter placket so this is the middle of my fabric here I'm just going to put it at three and a half and I'm just going to mark where the end of that is so that's coming there Okay, let's move that out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew right down from here, down to there, the tie, and then turn it, and then as close as I possibly can, I'm going to come back up the other side, just like that, in just an ordinary stitch. Okay, so I shall go to the machine and do that now. So I've just marked up my line for my placket on the middle and I have to do four and a half inches for the four year old so it'll tell you on the um, pattern what size you need to do so I've got the line I don't know if you can see it's very faint I'm just going to come in and I'm going to do back stitch I'm going to come all the way down I'm really close to that line Here, I'm just going to do one back stitch. Okay, turn it, going all the way around. There we are. And I'm going to come all the way back down that there. So I'm just going to come just a tiny bit to the side. Okay, and then I'm going to come down straight. To come down so that you're not actually touching that line. Just do a back stitch. There we go. And that's the start of putting your placket in. There we are. Right, so that's that in. You should have a line which is running down like that before, and then you'll just come in and cut it, okay? So here you have it, look, and I've just stitched, you can should be able to see, but I've just stitched down in between in there, and I'm gonna come in and I'm going to cut it down the middle of those stitches. Very carefully, I don't want to go over those stitches at all. Those stitches will just um, stop it from um, pulling out too much because we have, we're going to be working on this, okay? So now we are going to put in our placket. So I'm just going to do the placket now. So we're going to put it so underneath here, like this, so that we've got our right, so that's the right, so this is the back of our skirt, okay? So we're going to put it underneath so here we have the placket and we're going to pop it in. This is the front of my skirt here, okay? I'm going to want this placket and I'm going to want it to sit so that this is almost a straight line, all right? Like that, okay? So I'm taking my placket and I'm gonna lay it on the, on the board like this. And then I'm gonna take my skirt, so I'm pacing it so that it's wrong side is on the top. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to place it along there so it's sitting on just like that and then I'm going to pin it all the way. So just put some pins into it. That's it. You want it so that you're just coming in just the tiniest little bit as you come down and that will make it easier to get around that corner curve 
have to be it at the bottom. Okay, so we're just coming very slightly, like so, keeping that, you want that placket nice and tight underneath. You don't want it all gathered up underneath because you want it to be nice and straight there. Okay, I'm going to come down to this piece and then I'm going to go back the other way. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to put a pin right in that very centre there like that okay and then we're going to come back this side now keeping that nice and flat and i've come in about a quarter of an inch on that piece there and then we're going to come back up again so that's sitting nicely there. you don't want any folds in this piece here or any folds in that piece underneath make sure that's laying nicely they've got no folds in there i've got a bit of a Pucker there, so I'm just going to take that one out and move that one back in. That's better. That is better. There we go. Right. Okay, and then I move in here again, like so, bringing this around very slowly. Take your time because this is an important piece. I'm bringing this back up to meet up with the rest of our lines. So that one's going in there, like that. There we go. Getting that. Bring that one up. And we're going to come in just in here like this and then put the last one in there. Okay. Right. So now I'm just going to go back to this centre one. And can you see I've got a fold on that side and I've got a fold on that side, and that pin there is not touching into either of those pieces of fold. I'm just going to bring it in so it's touching in that centre there. Okay, so I'm going to stitch down here, put a back stitch there, stitch right down here, and when I get to here, I'm going to lift my needle and I'm going to flip that piece back over and put my needle down right in the centre in there. Do a couple of stitches and then I'm going to take this piece of flap and I'm going to fold that back over and I'm going to put my needle right in that piece there and then I'm going to stitch all the way up there. I'm going to keep this quite taut as we're going along so that you've got that nice and straight at the back. Okay, so let's go to the machine and we'll do that. So I've got it nice and tight like that. Can you see how I've placed this piece down? I've got my fold here and I've got my fold here and I've got that pin in the centre and it's running in the centre and it's touching in the bottom of that there but it's not touching either of those folded pieces there. It's got, I've got this piece so it's laying nice and straight. We're going to come in and we're going to stitch all the way, do a back stitch here, stitch down here until we get to here and we're going to lift that so that that fold is folded in that direction. We're going to come right in and we're going to put a stitch right in there. Okay, and then we're going to lift our needle, move our fabric over and we're going to put a stitch in and we want it to be in there, not on that folded piece at all. Okay, I'm going to do one or two stitches in the centre there and then we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to flip it back over and we're going to put our needle down so it's sitting in there on the side of that piece of fabric. Okay. And then we're going to come along, keeping this piece at the top straight, stitch along the edge there till we get to here, and then we're going to put a back stitch. Let's go to the machine. So I'm going to come down here now and sew all across the placket. So come in, do a back stitch. Okay, and we're going to come in and reasonably close to this edge. like it's going to get all creased up but it won't okay get, make sure that's just straight I can see there's a lump of something underneath it it's just flat that's better okay we're just going to come down okay and then we're going to lift it up and lift that needle up and then we're going to take it and just move it that tiniest bit so it's in between those two pieces like that Okay, pop it down again, 
and then you're going to pull this side so that it's straight and you're going to come and do one stitch and then you're going to lift it again and then you're going to fold that piece right back and you're going to come and do another stitch on the other side okay and then around all the way up our stripe piece sitting there and we've got it really and it's sat really nice and there's no pucker or anything in that piece there as you can see it's just laid really beautifully the next thing we're going to do is press this so it's open so we're going to press along here like that and then along this piece here like that so once you've pressed it so that it's flat you're going to then come in and press it about half an inch all the way along so it's folded under about half an inch all the way and then we are going to take it and we're going to fold it so that it sits once you've got that half an inch nicely folded there you're going to take it and you're going to fold it so that it sits directly on top of that stitch where the stitch is there so you've got your stitches here and you're going to fold it over like that and then you're going to press that down straight just like that okay and you can take off the ends any excess bits you had on the ends one and two okay and then we are going to stitch from here right across here on our um, this will be this if this is your back and you're looking at it this way around but I say that because obviously if you're looking at the other way it'd be on the other side this will be your left side okay so this piece on the top if you're looking at it this way and the ruffles are down the bottom here you want this piece here on the top to be on the right side this side you're just going to stitch across like that whereas on this side where it would come like that you're going to want to fold your placket back under because on a girl we always put left over right so that would be that this is going to be your left because you're going to whiz it around okay but this is the easiest way to do it so that you remember that that is the right, right way around so we're going to just stitch across just here just on this piece I'm going to stitch across just on this piece at the top here from here to here and then back stitch and stop same on this side really close to the edge about i would say an eighth of an inch from the edge okay and then once you've done that you're going to take this piece of the skirt here of the placket here and this is the piece which is at the very bottom okay so there's your placket it opens up then you're going to take that piece in the middle there folded that in half and you've got this piece and we are going to stitch from here in a diagonal just down like that just a small diagonal it doesn't don't worry about how much it's going to be you can probably come up say half an inch and then stitch down like that in a diagonal do your back stitch there stitch down do a back stitch there and that will be your placket finish so I should go and do that and then I'll come back and show you let's go to the machine So here it is, one continuous little placket run all the way down, looks beautifully. You can, if you wish to, go down and stitch around it, but I've never felt it needs it. It sits over beautifully, it just lays really nicely, so you don't really need to do anything else other than that. And that will sit beautifully like that, one on top of the other, just like that there. Okay, so that is our lovely continuous placket. So the next thing we're going to do is put in two rows of gathering stitches and we're going to start from the very edge here of our placket. We're not going to put the gathering stitches into the placket at all, we're going to start from there. And then we're going to go all the way, right the way round. When you get to your uh, French seams you want to push them so they're facing backwards, okay? So then bring it round and you're going to stop your gather stitch just here. 
like that. So let's go to the machine and we're going to do our two rows of gathering stitches. Remember, do not put a back stitch in when you're doing a gathering stitch. So you've got our placket laid in there and we're just going to come across and do a quarter inch at the top and we're just going to do a holding stitch at the top there on that one. Okay, take that one out. And the same on this side. Holding that down. Okay, get away. Holding that piece down. And we'll just hold that. You're not going to actually see that piece that will be inside our stitching. And then when you come down to the bottom, down here, you need to make sure that your left piece is coming over the top of it like that okay and then you're going to want to come in and stitch across your bottom here okay so we're going to just stitch on an angle like that all right This one, oh, that's right, is that right? No, it's the left one. This left one has to come and be stitched so it sits on the top like that. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I've been really far. I've done this about four times and I've picked it out several times. That's so unlike me. I've always put in a pocket, no problem. There we go. Okay, and I'll just hold that in place. Okay, dokie. Cut off those long ends and then we'll go and we're going to do um, and now we're going to put in our tacking stitch. So you can leave your quarter inch fit on if you prefer but we're going to move our stitches up to the biggest stitch we've got okay. We're not going to put any tacking stitches onto our placket because so we're going to start on our placket and we're going to finish on our placket. So I'm just going to pop it in there, place it underneath the needle, drop the needle down. Okay, and we're going to do the biggest stitch we've got. We're running in the middle and we're going to run all the way down in a quarter of an inch. Shot. Is that a better shot there? That might be a better shot These tacking stitches do go much quicker than the others. It's happening, it's getting caught on the end of my tape, but I didn't realise that. I keep pulling it to the side. So you don't want to put, sorry, you don't want to put any stitches in where the placket is. Better. Okay, lift it. And then I'm going to change my foot now. And if you are um, new and you're new to sewing, and you might find that if you have got a quarter inch and this one is more like a um, slightly larger, this is almost three eighths. 
couple of an inch you might prefer to swap over so that you've got an even distance between your two lines of a gathering okay let's just put those two stick threads up the top out of the way run that down place that on and you can see that that's going to come slightly below all right I went over the placket, don't worry, I can unpick it. You don't want to put it on the placket. I'm getting tired now, I'm going to stop after I've done this. Stop just as you get to your placket. There we go. Okay, lift that and go back to the table, and we're going to start to gather. Okay, so I've just got my skirt now, and we're just going to gather the um, top of the skirt so that it will meet up and fit the same size as your bodice. So we haven't actually done the bodice yet, so I'm just going to put, you can either just put this to one side uh, for a while and wait until you have done your bodice, or you can just come in now and gather um, up until, and get a nice gather on it um, so that you're ready for when you get actually do get your bodice done. So I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to gather it up and you can do the same thing if you wish to or you can wait until after as I say when you've finished your bodice so that you know the exact size you want it. I'm just going to go in now and gather these ones up around the top. There we go. I'm a bit concerned because my thread is snapped. So I was just a little bit concerned. I'm going to try it this side. Might be better this side. I just had a bit of a problem with the thread snapping. So I'm going to just try this. If it doesn't work, I'll, re I'll take these out and do it again. These are just a gathering stitch, so that should be okay. Uh, just go back to your machine and, ch and ch check that you've definitely turned it off the number seven. Okay. And then just gather that around like so. Stitches look don't look my usual size. But there we go. I just chip like that. I just keep going and gathering it around until you've got a nice gather all the way around, and then you can sort of play with it and make sure that you've got it the right size. So that is our little skirt part of the dress all finished. We've got our ruffles on and we've got our placket in and I've just gone round all the way and I've gathered it in until it's the same size as the bodice. And we're now going to be working on our bodice and our sleeve. 